Mitsubishi, my name's Joel, and today we're gonna to be doing a walkthrough of this 2013 Mazda 3 Neo, model year 13. It is a BR Series 2 with approximately about 66,000 kilometers on the clock in a nice aluminum color, which is a nice silver. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to explain it. It's got 190 kilowatts at the wheels uh, on this one, which is a your front wheel drive, which is the sport five sports, five speed sports automatic gearbox. Approximately 8.2 per 100 fuel consumption on this vehicle too. So what we're gonna to do today is do a quick walk around of the vehicle itself, quick run through of the features and just to get a, a good overview of what the vehicle condition wise is and also all the features with it too. So continuing around the side over here, we do have color match wing mirrors and door handles in this vehicle, which are in the nice silver aluminum color as well. Alloy rims all the way around on this side, which are your 15 inch alloys. So there's no damage or anything like that to those ones. So no go to rush for that one on the front there, which is a nice thing to have. Paintwork on the vehicle is in very good condition for the age of the car and the internal is immaculate. This is one of those vehicles that has been really, really well looked after um, from the previous owner and it's one of those ones that definitely won't last a huge amount of time frame wise uh, on, our, on our lot essentially. Uh, door bin is a very good amount of storage just here, which you can see. Um, you can comfortably be able to store one or two drink bottles just there. We do have some genuine Mazda 3 mats when they were back which they were nice and different back a little while ago, which have the nice two-tone exterior. So that's actually not dirty. It's just the style of the mat itself. As you can see with the seats there, that's how immaculate this interior is. So very nice, clean interior for this one as well. Back left-hand door over here doesn't have any marks or anything like that on that either. So it's in very good condition just there. Back left-hand door trim is in good condition too. One little um, compartment just there for storage for your bottles. So that's a nice addition just there as well. Uh, mats all the way through the back on the rear down here and you've got some storage behind the back drivers sorry back passenger side seats just here so you have this capabilities there for you as well now your seats are in very good condition which have your isofix points on both the left and also the right hand sides there too and in here you can see neatly tucked away we have two cup holders available to us as well on the back left hand corner panel here very good condition no gutter rash on that back left hand rim either so there's no damage or anything like that one to that one either Continuing through over here, we can see we do have that nice silver Mazda 3 badge with a nice just general Mazda thing there. We do have a little bit of a grasshopper that wanted to make an entrance to the video today. So he's jumped away or hopped out of the picture now. Back left hand corner down here has your just standard exhaust system. We do not have any camera or reverse sensors on this vehicle because it is a little bit older and I actually need to get the key to be able to open up the boot. So we'll go through and come back to that one shortly. Coming around to the right hand side over here, we do have the fuel cap in uh, the vehicle itself. Uh, on the right hand side over here which is very nice so easily to be accessed which is on the same side from the drive side um, on the back right hand rim here is in good condition too so there's no gutter rash on that one either back right uh, right hand door here is in good condition too there's no marks or anything like that small little scuff mark just with the general age of the car however there's nothing that jumps out at me that you need to worry about at all Having a quick peek into the back of the right hand corner over here, very good condition door trim yet again. Just some standard uh, generalized wear, not a huge amount on this one at all. So very good condition all through there as well. Opening up the back of the boot now, so you can actually have a little bit of a look. Simply hold the key button down and that gives you access to the boot, which is nice. And it's a good storage size boot for this car. So if you're gonna be using it for just an everyday or even a runaway around car, or you know, for a first car is actually ideal for that matter. You've got a good amount of storage space in the back here and then neatly tucked away underneath the boot, you do have a space saver uh, tire. So it doesn't look like it's even been used. It's got um, no marks on those colors just there either. Very easy to close that boot. So you just pull that one down very simply. Coming to the driver's seat now, it does look like we have a few little marks on here. However, that just look like dust and that will probably come off with a quick wipe, so just keep that in mind. However, there could be a little bit of marks in that one underneath it. Window, window controls and your uh, mirror controls located here on the right hand side of the door trim. And let's jump inside the interior so you can have a little bit of a look in the inside over here. Now there is some wear marks on the steering wheel, which does come with time just having the vehicle itself. Uh, as you can kind of see, we do have a little bit of blending here, which is just like rubbing off. Keep that in mind, uh, however, because you will see it when you come and have a look at the vehicle. However, it doesn't affect the internal appearance or anything like that at all. So it's a very nice conditioned car. Awesome. On the steering wheel here, we have our cruise control settings to us on the right-hand side down the bottom, just over here. Uh, and we've also got more on the left-hand side over here. So you've got cruise control on both sides for us. You've got your um, controls and everything like that on the right-hand side of here as well. So this is probably for uh, up the very top here. You can actually chop and change. Let's see if we can get close to that. So you can see your maintenance, uh, your tire rotation when your services are due. Um, back is there a button. You can get preferences. 
Uh, so you can go to your distance unit, temperature unit, so you can change all that stuff for you. So you can actually go through there. Let's click on info now, fuel economy, um, click on info again. Uh, there we go, fuel range. So you've got all that information towards yourself there. Uh, hopefully you're able to see that on the camera. Your cluster here has lots of information to you, which is pretty straightforward. A little bit of a digital fuel automata, um, digital fuel gauge on the bottom and your standard kilometers. Uh, you've got the traction control on the right-hand side over here, but apart from that though, that's all that's really located over here. Fuel cap located on the right-hand side of the ground just there. You've got your lights and your indicators on the right-hand side and your wipers on the left-hand side over here as well. Lots of functionality available to yourself over here with your CD, your AOX, AM, FM. Uh, you've got all that functionality there along with your CD player. Um, located there as well. Uh, you do also have MP3 capabilities, so I believe you have an AUX cable. Let me just find exactly where that one is. It'll probably be nice and hidden because they tend to hide them. Yeah, there we go. So you got your AUX and your USB cable and a 12 volt adapter, nice in the, in the center compartment. A little bit of a storage or storage tray just there as well. Two cup holders in the very center, which are nicely hidden if you're wanting to close that one off so you don't have to have anything falling in there or hide your keys. Have that available to you as well. Um, on the right hand side over here we have a 12 volt adapter to us along with a um, little bit more storage space in here or um, whatever you're kind of looking to uh, land on store so maybe like your keys, your phone, whatever you like to do. AC controls and climate control settings just a little bit lower which is a nice addition there. Quick pan through the interior and that pretty much wraps up our walkthrough video. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact our friendly staff on 9907055. Alternatively, we do have extended warranty options available for yourself. So if you'd like to uh, get a warranty on this vehicle tailored to yourself or a protection package for that matter, please talk to our friendly staff and we'll see what we can tailor towards yourself. We do have in-house finance options available as well. So if you want to see if this vehicle fits within your weekly, monthly or fortnightly budget, please don't hesitate to talk to our finance directors today. Any further questions, uh, feel free to contact us on 9907 -055. Thank you for watching. My name's Joel and have a lovely morning.